Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And today I'm joined by Emil Nysa, our creative director. Emil, welcome to the studio. And why don't you say hi to everyone? Thanks, and uh, hey guys. It's really nice to, uh, to be back in your studio, Alex. Especially now that we can launch uh, and, and talk fully about a new product, Homey Bridge. Um, so yesterday we had a keynote uh, about the, the new product. So Homey as a subscription and Homey Bridge as an antenna for inside your home. Uh, I really recommend you guys to, uh, to watch the keynote because we uh, talk a lot more about how we got there. The entire journey is uh, really explained. Um, so uh, go ahead and watch this as well. Yeah. Uh, but for now, we're going to unbox Homey Bridge and see what's in the box so you guys can experience it just before you, uh, you buy it yourselves. The best part of actually any product is often just the unboxing. That's, complete, so, that's completely true. And we, I really want to say we, we put a lot of effort in making a great unboxing of Homey Bridge because it's a new product. We've learned a lot of things during the last years. We put all those love in this box. Yeah, there's a lot of love in it. That's a lot of love. All right, let's unbox the Homey Bridge. All right, so here it is. Uh, on the front, of course, you see Homey Bridge. And then on the back, uh, you can see about what it's about. So let's just uh, get to it, shall we? So we cut the uh, stickers here. So you know it's uh, it's new. So you know it's brand new, yeah. Exactly. Right out of the box. Exactly, and then this is always the part I love. <laughs> and then you're greeted with Welcome Home. So this is the, the quick start guide that helps you set up Homey Bridge um, if you're a new user to, to Homey or Homey right. Bridge. So it's a beautiful uh, booklet with the images of Homey Bridge with great instructions on where to place it in your home that, and don't put anything on don't it. Because, anything on top. So this infrared comes out of the top, so don't put anything on the top. And then uh, how to plug in the adapter, I guess people can do it's that. It's pretty plug and play, right? It, From, it's very plug and play. Yeah. And then uh, you have to download the app and all the legal stuff is also in here. And there's a QR code on the back? There's so a QR code on the back. And you, you can, can scan that. Yeah. And you can scan that and then you are automatically redirected to the App Store to download the Homey app. Oh, perfect. All right, let's put this to one side. All right. This is the way as well. So now we can get Home Bridge out of the box and you can see it has a little plastic <laughs> Keep on top. It fresh. Keep it really fresh. So for all the ASMR lovers out there, you can really enjoy this moment. I love this part. It's the best part. It's, it's absolutely the best. So it has a really uh, great shiny top that really allows the infrared to pass through yeah. very efficiently. And the Homey logo kind yeah. of minimalistic on top. Exactly. Perfect. And then here on the on the back, you can see that there's a micro USB connector for the power and the power adapter is here in the box as well. And then on the bottom, you can see there's a, a nice feeling uh, rubber mat. So when you place it on the table, it doesn't slide up. And there are all the legal stuff in here as well, and the unique serial number of your bridges uh, is here as well. So let's put this here for now. And then we have the uh, power adapter. Power adapter, cable. USB cable. So there's a nice uh, plastic around it to, uh, to keep it fresh as well. And obviously, depending on the region you're in, you'll get a different power adapter for that region. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a European power adapter, but there's also a, a US. US, US one and UK. a UK one. Yeah. Yes. So one end of course, it goes into Homey Bridge. <laughs> I guess this is the really easy part. <laughs> this is the really easy part. And then the other end goes into the adapter. So the adapter, we probably have some power here. Yeah. Let's plug it in. And I can see that Homey Bridge starts rotating uh, white, which means it's uh, starting up. And then very quickly after a few seconds, it starts breathing blue. And we chose blue because we were using Bluetooth too. Pair it so you know now it's in setup mode. Okay, so now you can grab your mobile phone to connect it to your Wi-Fi. Well, luckily I've got my mobile here and I've already got the Homey app downloaded. I'm logged in on my account and this is the screen you'll see. So at this point, we have Homey Bridge plugged in. It's breathing blue. Mm -hmm. I've installed the Homey app, I've logged in and we're ready to set up Homey Bridge. I can already see where I'm supposed to press right here. Let's go. All right. So the first time you're setting up your Homey Bridge, you're actually gonna be guided through creating your own home. Now we haven't had this before. Often this we've new. gone with like a default home setup, but we realize that every home is different. Sometimes you have multiple floors. Sometimes you only have one floor if you're in a bungalow or a flat or apartment. And now we give you the freedom to actually create your own home. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go through the steps. I wanna set up the Homey as if I'm actually at my house. So I'm gonna go up to adding another floor. Now we have two floors. Tap on next. And I'll add in an attic, a garden, and a garden shed. Let's tap on next. Um, so now for every floor, 
Homey also asks you which rooms are in that floor. So for example, if you have a, a first floor, it might be a bedroom or a bathroom, right? So you can, for each floor, select those zones as well. So on the ground floor, I'm selecting then my living room, kitchen. I've got a hallway, a toilet, and I think that's everything actually. Tap on next. Select the rooms you have on your first floor. Okay, first floor, master bedroom, bathroom. Uh, and we're expecting a kid, so I'm gonna add a kid's room there. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously the office. And I think that's it. Next. Oh, attic. That's actually my guest bedroom. So I'll add that. And now I get an overview of what my home looks like. So after clicking next, Homie would like to know my location. So I'd use your phone's location to mm -hmm. suggest where you might live, okay. but then you can still fine tune it by typing in your address right, or moving so the map. You can change your address. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna hit next. And now it's preparing my home. It is. Perfect. All right, um, so, so now it's asking for you to set up Homie Bridge. But so let's say you don't have Homie Bridge yet uh, because you want to purchase it later or you don't need it because you don't have ZigBee, Z with uh, infrared, etc. Then you uh, have the same setup, but then it ends here. And then you can connect all your cloud-to-cloud -cloud devices. So let's say if you already have a Philips Hue bridge, or maybe you have a, a Nuki smart lock, stuff that already works with the cloud, then you can add it to Homey as well. But we're continuing with Homey Bridge because later on in the video, we're going to add sensors and uh, devices that use the antennas that are inside Homey Bridge. Yeah. So it's breathing blue. Let's tap on next. Checking permissions, looking for Homey Bridge. So now it's searching for Homey Bridge over Bluetooth. And now it's fine, it found Homey Bridge. So Homey Bridge pulsates green. And then you also saw that in the video of the mobile app, it also pulsates green. I saw it on the animation of mm -hmm. Homey Bridge, it pulsates yeah, green. So, so earlier in the video, we talked about putting a lot of love in the box. Well, this is one of those things. We made sure that during the entire setup, you're confident that you're doing the right thing. So every time you have an action here, the animation on your mobile phone is the same as happens on Homey Bridge. So it's so really a great experience. What you see in the app is what's happening in real life. Exactly. So you so immediately see, okay, this is, this is still correct, still connected. <clears throat> so now you can choose uh, where Homey Bridge is located inside of your home. Okay, so I can set up Homey Bridge's location, which will be ground floor living room, I think I'm. Makes like sense. I think most people put it in there. Nice and prominent. Yeah. Also to connect with my TV. Yeah, because of the infrared, of course, doesn't go through walls. And most people have their infrared devices in the living room, like a TV or a sound bar or that kind of stuff. So infrared, always place it in direct line of sight, actually, with yeah. those devices, right? Yeah. OK, at this point, we need to get it hooked up to the Wi-Fi network. So now you see that Homie Bridge is connecting. And you see the animation on the phone right. is rotating, but also on Homie Bridge is also rotating. So that's, that's one of those that's that real features. world. I really love this connection. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then in a few seconds, when it's connected, it will go green, and the app will also go green. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It's amazing. Okay, and at this point, we're installing a couple of software updates. Yes. That's often going to be the case, just to keep everything up to date on Homey Bridge. Right? Exactly. So when Homey Bridge is rotating uh, pink, that means that it's updating. So at this point, I got Homey Bridge connected. I have a whole new home mm -hmm. set up with all my zones yes. that I personally created. And let's add a device. I see that Homey Bridge is uh, actually added a device that's a little bit different from our older Homey versions. Yeah, so Homey Pro is the device, which makes sense. Uh, but but Homey Bridge is a device. Uh, and you can also place it in a, in a zone to, uh, well, complete your smart home. Right, and if you've set up an account using Homey, mm -hmm and you have a home and a few cloud-to-cloud -cloud devices connected, yes. then you actually add in a bridge into that home as a exactly. new device. You just go to devices, add new device, and then Homey Bridge will be found automatically. So when you see the radar, you know, when it's finding devices, Homey Bridge is just one of those devices. I think I'll probably create a video yeah, we'll, on that. We'll create a separate video but time. let's head into adding a device. Mm -hmm. But let's connect up a Fibaro plug. So at this point, actually, it's a very familiar process to what we already know for Homey. Yeah. So I'm going to type in Fibaro. We'll just search for the brand. Search for the brand, select the Fibaro app, mm -hmm. and scroll through the list of all the supported devices and find the one I've got. So this is a wall plug? Wall plug, and it's the Z-Wave Plus version. Mm -hmm. I'll hit connect. And as always, Homey comes with detailed pairing instructions for the device you're looking to pair. One, two, three. First right. stage is check. And then 
Do Press it again. the button three times again. And that's it. And the device is being so used. So now Homie Bridge is talking to the Fibara wall plug. And you see how, how fast that was, right? Yeah. So now the wall plug's added. Maybe you want to turn it on. It's turned on. It's almost, I mean, it is immediate. There is, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. So fun story, um, before we started on the entire adventure of actually creating Homie Bridge, we did some, uh, some blind tests with people um, where we had the processing, of course, already in the cloud computers. Right and then uh, a very affordable uh, hardware, so which is eventually became Homey Bridge. Um, but we wanted to test if the, if the delay was uh, noticeable because that would really be a killer if there was. Right. And people just couldn't tell the difference between a regular Homey Pro and Homey Bridge. So this Homey Bridge, we're located in uh, the Netherlands, is routed through Frankfurt and then back. And that all happens when you press this button, it's so instant. Not only that, just so have no idea. it goes from the app right, to Frankfurt, back again to the bridge, then the bridge has to process that, set it into a Z-Wave signal to then turn on the plug. Exactly, and it all happens so fast. I mean, I, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but it is immediate, there is no... Absolutely. Should we actually, I have a lamp, I wanna plug that into the plug, and then you can see a lot right. quicker, you know, when you it mean turns this on. One? Yeah, that one, that's You've the... Got a lot of stuff here, man. I, I do have a lot of stuff <laughs> down there, <laughs> off camera. All right, um, so I guess now it's turned off. Right. So if I tap it now... It turns on. Oh. On. Oh, it's, it's too much fun. Actually, there's some delay in the light. So I heard click earlier, then the light turns it's on. It's possible funny. because that's a smart light. Oh, that makes sense. So <laughs> another delay built in. But um, I also see that energy metering is mm -hmm. immediately actually in there. Of course. So if you if you even hold it, it just looks like, you know, mm -hmm. homie. So there's energy monitoring. Uh, you can just turn it off and on. There's a timeline, you can see the history of the device when it's turned on and off. <laughs> and of course you can just create flows with it as well. Right? So let's actually, talking about flows, we're gonna add in a few more devices. I'll create a few flows and then we'll be back in just a moment. All right, we're back with a lot of devices. I've got them all actually hooked up to Homie Bridge mm -hmm. and I created a couple flows for them. Oh, nice. So the first one uses zone activity. And of course I've set that door window sensor into our zone. So now just open, the, the door window. The sensor. lights are in the same zone as well. Lights are in the same zone. All right. Well, the zone should become active, and then turn on the lights. Oh, look at that. And, and then close it up again. So you made a flow that if the zone became inactive, the lights turn That's off right. automatically. Oh, let's try it. Damn. And it's so fast, right? You can do it. Oh, I love this. I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we don't have time for that. <laughs> so. Um, <clears throat> And if you guys are wondering for the flows, I'm gonna share links to them down below. So we have that share flow feature. You can go check out the flows and use them as inspiration for your smart home. Now, I wanna show off another one I have. Mm -hmm. And that's set up actually with this Trust Smart Home dimmer switch. It's a really that's, simple dimmer. I know that's 4.23 megahertz. It's 4.33 megahertz. Yes. So really simple. Um, and let's start by turning on the lights. And this is gonna happen to this light here because it's dimming mm -hmm. and that's obviously controlled by the plug. So yes, I can't dim that one. Dim. So now, if I turn it, you'll see that the light dims down. Mm -hmm. Really simple. Like you would expect from a normal dimmer. All right, dim it back up. And now here is the smart part. Let's jump into flows. I wanna show this off real quick. Now, if I double tap, I've created a flow that what? actually switches the device from setting the dim level mm -hmm. to setting a I, color. I just saw that this flow was disabled and this flow is enabled. Right, and right. you probably did that from a flow. Right, I did. Yeah. And again, down below, the share flows. And now if I turn... The U changes. See the color change. That's brilliant. I'm impressed. How cool is that, right? And now... It's so cool. And that's all with Homey Bridge and Homey in the Cloud. It's all working via the cloud. Perfect. Actually, let's set it to a cold color. Mm -hmm. If I double tap now, I can change the brightness. Switches again. You'll see it even happen in the app. Mm -hmm. Dim it down. So isn't that cool? That's so cool. It's cool. That's absolutely very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've never seen someone use it this way before, but I love it. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you can get really creative with flows, actually. Right? I mean, setting these things up, if you just give a moment of thought, design it, you can set it up. And I think mm -hmm. that's the great thing about Homey. And this is the time, guys, to go do it for yourselves. Right? Yeah. Anyone can install the Homey app. Get started, create a home, add in Homey Bridge like we did in this video, go through the whole unboxing experience, which is quite special. It's a great unboxing. And you guys can start creating a better smart home.